How are we doing guys? Welcome back to Country Sports Media. Uh, today I'm really excited to bring to you the new Pulsar TELUS XP50 LRF. So what do you get in the box? Um, as you can see I'm wearing the new um, harness which comes with the TELUS. So this has got a three point strap on it and very easily opens forward and your TELUS is inside. Um, so what else do you get in the box? You get your, as we're in the UK, you get your three pin plug and um, that has actually got a USB A and a USB C uh, connection in the back of it. You get your charging cable come data cable. You get a quick, quick guide to Stream Vision 2 and you get your quick setup guide for your Telos. Inside there you get your warranty card, obviously like I've said previously on these videos keep hold of your warranty card, maybe staple your receipt to it and then if you get any problems you know where everything is and pop them back in the box. So that's the, uh, that's the boring stuff done. So uh, let's get on now to, uh, to the proper part of the video. So moving on to the Telos itself, but just quickly before I do that, I want to go back to the, um, the case that comes with um, the new Telos. I think this is a fantastic idea by Pulsar. Um, a lot of us, we take our product out of the box, out of the case, put the case back in the box and never use it again. But actually this is really usable. Um, as you can see on the back, it's got a three point strap on it. Um, and it just sort of sits um, just off center really, um, which is sort of, you know, perfect if you spot in right hand, bang it straight in there and obviously you can use it sort of other side if you're left handed um, or whatever. But also I think that is really handy and I think that's sort of, you know, a fantastic idea by Pulsar. So we'll move that out of the way. Now we've just quickly spoken about that. So back to the Telos itself. This is the flagship um, of the Pulsar sensors as such until the XL come out um, a couple of months ago. But this is the 640, 480, 17 micron and this has a sub 18 millikelvin sensor. And this is a true sub 18 millikelvin sensor. This isn't figures being fudged by putting filters on or anything like this. This is a proper true 18 millikelvin sensor. And as you, you know, as you know, the lower the millikelvin rating, the more sort of um, it will pick up sort of like the hot objects um, and pick up the temperature dif difference and that. So like with all other 640 sensors, it has a 1800 meter detection range. And in there you get a 50 mil lens, which is an F F50 1.0 lens, uh, geranium lens. Um, so the exciting thing about the Telos is that this is the first upgradable thermal monocular to come to the market. This is super, super, super exciting. Um, I mean, whether you've bought the XP50 without the LRF on it and you want to upgrade to the LRF, that'll be possible um, at a later date. You'll be able to upgrade the sensor in the side. Um, as new ones emerge, you'll be able to upgrade the, the screen in the back and even possibly upgrade the lens as well. So this is a super exciting thing that has come from Pulsar, um, and I, th I think it's uh, I think it's really nice. You know, we've all sort of followed the journey um, from the very early Pulsar devices through. Um, and it is a pain when sort of you know you've you've bought the latest and greatest thing out there, and all of a sudden, sort of nine months, twelve months down the line, somebody brings out a new one. You're like, oh, you know, I really like the new one, but I can't quite afford it. You know, we've all been in that situation. But actually, with it being an upgradable device, that is going to save um, pounds and keep pounds in your wallet because upgrading a part of it isn't going to be the price of a new unit. So that's a real massive big plus from Pulsar. Um, the other thing which is new on this, um, and Pulsar have not tried it before to my knowledge, um, is at the front there you've got your zoom ring 
Um, but at the back of the zoom ring, you've actually got your... Sorry, at the back of your focus ring, you've got your zoom ring. Um, it's a focus ring at the front. Um, so at the back of there, you've got your zoom ring. That takes it from 2.5 all the way up to 10 mag. Um, so this is a, a four times digital scope. Um, in the other side, you have the new look IPS, uh, sorry, LPS 7i battery. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, in the back there, you have got a charging port for it, but you can just take that battery out and you can just drop that on a wireless charging pad and that charges without having to plug any cable into it. I think, again, that is another fantastic idea from Pulsar. Um, a lot of cars are now having sort of you know wireless charging pads in them and that. So again, if you're out for you know a long night out and that, you can always just drop that battery onto a uh, to a wireless charging pad. Um, this is a new battery in there that sort of you know we haven't sort of really used yet. Um, I'm testing it. It lasts somewhere between eight to eight and a half hours, um, which is you know which is more than you know more than acceptable. Um, the other thing that I noticed is sort of the, the feel of the, uh, the Telos. It's got a really nice sort of rubber coated housing to it and sort of, you know, a real nice soft feel and it doesn't sort of slip around in, in the hand or anything like that. So again, that is another, uh, another bonus um, and another sort of innovation from Pulsar um, to, you know, to think about that. Obviously, like any other uh, monocular, pair of binoculars, rifle scope, it's got your rear diopter, um, so you can change the focus on the, your rear diopter to, to suit your eyes. Obviously, everybody's eyes are different. Um, the other thing which is quite cool about this is you can actually, so this is for me, I'm right-handed, sort of pick it up, but you can actually move the, um, the strap to the left hand side so this is a fully ambidextrous unit um, I think you know again um, I've heard people sort of moan about that ah oh, well you know I can't get my sort of my hand strap on the left hand side or anything like that so Pulsar have actually sort of um, come up with this idea um, and that this should work sort of really really well the other thing I quite like um, is the adaptable user mode which you've got inside so you can sort of stick it into the user mode you can sort of change your contrast and your brightness and things like that and then sort of it will automatically save that next time you go into your user mode um, the other thing that's upgraded on this and um, normally you get a 16 gigabyte internal memory in Pulsar devices this has actually been upgraded to a 64 gig so that's sort of you know really really cool um, not that many of us um, run out of uh, storage on them but you know you're definitely not going to run it out with 64 I mean that's going to be sort of thousands upon thousands of pictures and probably a thousand videos no doubt um, the recording resolution on this is 1024768 um, as it is on the uh, Thermion Pro versions. Um, you can connect it to Stream Vision 2, um, that's available on iOS and Android. The other sort of thing which has come with later models from Pulsar just recently is um, the Wi Fi on them. A lot of them, of the older models, used to connect uh, 2.4 gigahertz. But these now have the option to use 5 gigahertz, uh, which gives you a wider bandwidth and also allows the download speed to be a lot better on them. So again, another plus uh, there from Pulsar. Um, as with all other units, it's IPX7 rated. Um, that means it's uh, you can immerse it in water, in a metre of water, for 30 minutes. Not that many of us are going to do that, but if you get caught out in the rain, uh, it's not going to harm your device. Like with all other thermals, it has eight colour palettes. You've got your white heart, your black heart, your red monochrome, uh, your sepia, your aquamarine, or whatever you call it. Uh, it's one that I never use. Uh, in the back, you've got a 1024 768 AMOLED HD display. Um, the weight of it, it is maybe a little smidge heavy. Um, it's weighing in at 0.72 of a kilo. Um, but there you go, that's the Telos uh, from Pulsar, the XP50 LRF. Um, I hope that's given you an overview of some of the um, specifications of it. 
and we'll get some videos up of this very soon. Thanks for watching guys, see you all soon.